wake up and move. Justin Arnold back here again at Flex MP, bringing another wow or workout of the week. Wednesday, and we look at the title, Quick Movement Snacks for busy parents, busy people. Most of the people are busy these days, and we always seem to sacrifice some of the most important things for our life, and that is movement. Maybe you get stuck on the idea that your goals just seem impossible, or maybe it's an aesthetic thing, and you're like, I'm just not that bodybuilder. Well, movement is very important to just living that better life. So moving better, feeling better, and living better in all aspects, we're all connected. And I don't wanna go down that rabbit hole, but I wanted to bring you something quick, and we're gonna go over what movement snacks are, but it's those quick little things you can do anytime, anywhere. I'm gonna provide a free one here today for everyone out there watching this video so there is no excuses to get to move in better on today's Workout of the Week Wednesday. So we're gonna go through what I like to call a body weight flow. Now we can make this easier or more intense depending on the individual. I'm just gonna go through the movements. I'll show some modifications along the way, but those movement snacks, just something quick that you can do anytime, anywhere, and maybe you wanna extend it. Maybe you wanted to go to like an hour long class, but you can't make it because something came up in the family, but you can fit 20 minutes in or, or maybe whatever, something you wanted to go for a run, but you just can't get out of the house because you couldn't get a babysitter. Maybe you want to do something else, but something else that got in the way, whether it be work, whether it be kids, just life happens. And we never want to sacrifice some of those important things like eating nutritiously dense food, drinking water, sleep, and then of course, movement. So that's what I'm going to provide here today, a little movement snack. So we can always get that movement and that blood flow in because I always believe something is better than nothing. So I'm going to go through the flow and then I'm going to explain uh, again, like how you want to do this, whether it be time, that kind of stuff. So what is a little bit of flow? You're going to start standing, reach up to the sky. And I like to just kind of like walk through it. Just kind of walk my fingers down. Now we're trying to hinge here. So don't round the back. As soon as try to keep the legs as straight as possible. As soon as I get as close to the ground, I'm going to start walking out. Now, if this is hard in itself, maybe do this a little elevated, like on a box or, or, or a chair or something. Uh, a bench is always great. Whatever you got all around. Then from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna squeeze those glutes, we're gonna drop the hips. Now we're getting some great mobility into those hips. From here, we're going to push back. And if you're familiar with yoga, this is a child's pose. So this is working the low back. You're getting actually a lot of the posterior chain, the shoulders, the lats, just breathe into that. And we're gonna try and create some intensity. From here, you're gonna press up. Now, if that's too hard, just stay down on your knees. But if you can, you're gonna press up. We're going to push up towards our hips. And I want to intentionally go this slow. And I would encourage you to do the same as we've discussed on other videos. From there, it's almost like we're gonna push through each little vertebrae, feeling each little vertebrae. And I'm pressing my fingers into the ground, creating some tension. I'm squeezing those glutes, and then I'm just stepping a foot in. Now you've seen me do some similar stuff as this. This is your runner stretch. If this is too hard, you can also drop that knee. You can loosen it up in this area, breathe through it. But I'm gonna keep that leg up to really open up the hamstrings, open up the hips. Then I'm just gonna reach. This opens up the lats. Some people might call this CAR, C-A-R-S, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to reach, and then as I hit my max range, I'm gonna rotate. Again, we're trying to do it from the middle of the back, thoracic spine. If you can get that hand to the back, great. Add some extra rotation, and then we step back. Actually, we keep that foot there. We're gonna actually walk back into this Cossack. I'm gonna show you from the other side. Now again, if you can't get this far, get as far as you can. Maybe you've got this, maybe you got some modified version here whatever you can do. <clears throat> then back to that downward dog. Again, step in, that car is that nice slow reach. Then rotate when I hit my max, put in a low back, add that rotation. And then this little bit of crawl, if you can get to this position. If you can, great. You can even add <clears throat> some hip rotations here. Get where you can. I work with everybody who does some version of this. The keys I can give you without actually seeing you, just breathe, brace, and move through your ranges. And then from here, we're gonna come back here. 
we're gonna drop down as if we just did almost an eccentric push up. And then we're gonna do these scorpions where we reach out and rotate. If you're already like, man, there's a lot, then watch this video again, just go over it. I guarantee if you watch this video a few times and start working through it, you'll figure it out. Then we're here, we had a little push up. Again, if that's too hard, push up on your knees. But again, I want this to be a both a mobility, a little strength trainer, get some intensity, walls in the way. So make sure that doesn't happen with you. Try to get that head to the ground on this one. What this is doing is opening up the chest and the shoulder, getting that back, getting that hip, getting that quad back to center, push it up. And then we just walk back to the beginning. Now, before I go over that a little bit quicker so you can see it one more time, that's hitting everything again, from mobility to strength. And ways you could do this, say you only got a two minutes for a two minute movement snack. Put a clock on, do it as many times as you can. Maybe you got 10 minutes, there you go. Now, maybe you got 20 minutes, you could do this and maybe add something to it. You know, do some interval workouts. Pull up one of my other videos where I'm doing some 10 minute ab workouts or eight minute abs, or even like some quick little cardio things like high knees or getting on a Peloton bike if you have one of this. But this is another great go-to, but I'm gonna go through it real quick. You wanna try to do it with me, Jay? Show how easy it is. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, here, let's see. We're gonna just walk out. So walk out from here, we're gonna squeeze our butt and drop our hips and knees. Then we're gonna push our butt back. Great, now we're gonna push up. And then we're gonna push up through our each vertebrae and we're gonna step a foot in. And then we're gonna reach that arm inside that knee as far as you can to the low back, rotate. Then we'll put this hand down and then we're just gonna walk back into this one. This one's a little bit more challenging, see if you can do it. Walk back to that back leg, other way, inside, inside. Here, I'll do the other side so you can see. So you step that in and then you just walk it back here. Don't forget to do that reach, try it. It's the back leg. We're gonna get moving on. Yes! Now walk back to the other leg. Walk back to that leg, the right leg. Yeah, and bend that knee. There you go. See, it's challenging, but even Jalen's figured out, so yeah, and then you could do something like that. All right, don't forget that reach on that other side. And then what do we do, do you remember? We drop down into that push-up, right? Now we're gonna cross over here, but I'm gonna reach. I'm trying to kick you in the face here, son. Smell my foot. Smell my foot. <laughs> and then we had a push-up, right? A little bit of a push-up. Oh, you smell your feet. <laughs> right? And then we had that push-up. Then we drop down again. We reach through. Walls in the way here. But you guys get the idea. Rotate through. Come back center. Push up. And then what do we do from here? We walk our feet back, right? And then we start to the beginning. Reach up. Stand up. There you go. We just went through this. Spent a couple minutes showing you. Jalen did it again. That one's a little bit hard. This one is just that runner stretch to that. Again, you might need to modify, but that is your workout of the week, your movement snack. I would love to hear if you nibbled on that one. Get that? Nibbled on this one. If you did, we'd love to hear from you. Again, if you need any other help, modifications for this. But stay tuned. We're going to pop a few of these. We're going to maybe use some TRX next week to do some movement snacks. Maybe we'll add a kettlebell. But the idea is we want people just, again, it's, if you haven't really focused on movement, I'm still hearing stories of people are still uh, stuck kind of in a rut after last year. So really, movement, you're all connected. Your mind, your body, your spirit, your, the food you eat, all of it is interconnected. So when you start doing a little bit of things better in each area, everything starts looking better in life. Right, Jalen? Yep. Don't give up. Try this and have fun. Yes! Hey, thanks for checking out videos just like these. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and click on notifications below to stay up to date. All these videos that we post here throughout the week. And again, tag a friend underneath if you think they might benefit from these videos. And if you need further training or further information or a little more personalized programming to meet your needs, we can create a customized roadmap to meet your needs here at FlexMP. Just click on that link below. Again, contact us today at FlexMP to get you moving better, living better, and feeling better.